the one surviving member of that group out here in the audience today. His family's out here today as well. Grandfather down to grandchild. So welcome, Todd. We've already heard from my good friend Kieran from Saldaf, Norman Chen from TAF, but Asian Americans today will be out in force because we know that today is a continuation, not a commemoration. This month is also the 35th anniversary of the Civil Liberties Act of 1988, which offered our government's apology for what our country did to Japanese Americans during World War II. But we are nearly 160 years since the end of the Civil War, and the promise of 40 acres and a mule remains unfulfilled. If we could pass the Japanese American Redress 35 years ago, we are long past due for African American reparations. We need our leaders to establish a commission to study the need for reparations and bring racial healing to our country. Now some might say that was too long ago. And what does reparations even mean? But isn't that why we are all here today? That only 60 years ago, 100 years after the end of slavery, our nation continued to enforce laws that subjugated all people of color, especially black men, women, and children, to lesser voting rights, unequal access to capital, to housing, to unequal education, and still today, police brutality. Slavery didn't end, it just changed what it looked like. This is why today is a continuation of our work, not just a commemoration. The reality, life is a game that we all play, with unfair or sometimes even different rules. Too often, it depends on what you know, who you know, and yes, the color of your skin, as to how the rules apply to you. Yet on the other end of this national mall, we have seen the Supreme Court rule that we no longer need affirmative action, which helped to level the playing field and make up for those imbalances of opportunity. However, despite these so many failures of the courts in recent years to uphold justice, we do still need to keep faith in the system. We do hold hope that those who try to steal elections will still face consequences. Ultimately, we need to make sure that elections are so overwhelming they cannot be stolen. We need to win elections to enact these laws so that everyone has a fair and equal opportunity. So get out and vote, because that is how we will continue to realize the dream of 60 years ago and the dreams that we have for our children today. No, that's not